Now I know this is like my old style of videos. I know this is kind of like my older style of videos on how I used to make my older videos. But it's just the way how I do it. It's just the way I'm going to do it today. So yeah, and if you guys don't know, Mecha Godzilla's in the new movie. No shit, where the hell have you been for the past year? Um, yeah, so he finally came in. And one thing is that I wasn't sure if they were going to make Mecha Godzilla in 6 inch form. And they did. I just thought that they were going to make only Kong, Godzilla, and the Skullcrawler and Warbat um, 6 inch figures. But I didn't think Mecha Godzilla would be one. So, But he is, and I am very happy because... If you guys don't know, I mainly collect 6 inch figures. Yeah, I sometimes collect like bigger figures too. Like I got that bigger 11 inch Godzilla from the movie. But I honestly just mainly collect 6 inch because, I don't know, they're just for one cheaper and I think they're cooler and better to play with. <clears throat> but yeah, so I want to go over accessories. Or no, let's go over the packaging. So we got the standard, um, let me get this out of the way, Godzilla vs. Kong here at the top, like how it usually is. One new thing that's been, not, hasn't been here that Rob Jiro meant, um, Rob Jiro? Shen Rob Jiro, there we go, Shen Rob Jiro mentioned is that blockbuster movie, Godzilla vs. Kong, that was not there before. Mecha Godzilla with Heave, which is, we'll get to in, in a minute. Um, Battle Damage Reveal, nice, and legendary, Toho Legendary Playmates. Um, go to the back, and we see a nice product image. It is basically what you see in the back is basically what you are getting. Um, and same thing as in the front. Battle damage reveal. There's a little better look at the heave. Godzilla with radio tower, tower which I will do a comparison with in, in a little bit, which I do have. Kong with fighter jet, which I don't have, but these should he should probably be coming up in stores soon. Skull crawler. I have him, Godzilla with Heat Ray, I have him, Warbat, he has not been released, at least in my area, and Kong with Battle Axe. So, yeah, I had to get this guy, or this guy had to be bought from eBay from a scalper, so, yeah. But it, it's still a $10 toy, so I'm just going to mention that it was $10. But, yeah, for a $10 figure it, from Walmart, it's very not, it's really not that bad. Um, like, yeah, it's, like, awesome. It's, like, I mean, like... I mean, like, I was super hyped for when the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys came out. I was, like, blown away by their detail. I'm like, wow, the T-Rex is so awesome. He has electronics. And, yeah, it's basically the same with these. And I was really excited for the Endgame toys, too. And it's basically, like, like a repeat of this. Like, like I was excited to get the Thanos figure, and I got the Mecha Godzilla, which I guess I'll do a comparison with him if I could find him in a little bit. But, yeah. So, yeah, we have his little chest piece thing, and yeah, it looks very detailed. It's like a, it's like a SH Monster Arts, almost. Except for the price, for like the $80, $90 price difference. But yeah, it's, honestly, I think it could do well with your Monster Arts figures or your NECA figures. Yeah, because I was always getting, thinking of getting the Kiryu, but now I changed my mind. It's like, awesome. Look at him. And like, yeah. We'll get to the actual figures here and accessories. And here he is, Heave. Now, it is green, which is... I have the gray version, but I don't know where it's at. But I I think it's in one of my toy bins. But yeah, I, this is basically the repaint of the gray version. Heave. I think it's a lot more solid plastic, a lot more straightened. Yeah, green. I think I like this one better than the gray one. And he and he does not come with this atomic breath part. Um, oh, and also not to mention his tail came the de de attached. Let's see if I could take it off. Uh. All right. So yeah, his tail comes de attached un unattached. So yeah, you just want to put it in his ass. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, that's a little Jabby the Hong reference. And yeah, it's a very nice figure, but but actually. What I want to get to is his ato this atomic breath piece from Godzilla with Heat Ray. This guy, I mean, let me, let me, uh, sorry about that, y'all, my dog won't be quiet, but yeah, um, yeah, so this guy, you could actually see a little porthole, and, yeah, you could put it there, and I would recommend closing his mouth, because, 
Actually, hmm. Huh. Because in, uh, freaking the... I forgot what channel it was on, but it was either Super Unimportant Reviews or the Geek Chest where he mentioned that it won't stay in, but... If his mouth is open, but... Actually, yeah. It, it, it takes a bit of shaking, but overall... Yeah, it's... It's fine. It's cool. I like how they did that feature. I like how they did that. Yeah, I think it's cool. But anyways, let's get to articulation. The mouth could open really wide. I don't know. Uh, and he has... He looks like he, he almost has like an underbite almost. So, yeah. He is... Shoulders can go 360, but they're blocked away by these shoulder pads. His arms can move out. There is no bend here. No swivel at the wrist, which, come on, I at least put a swivel here, but I don't know. I'm not complaining, but yeah. But yeah, so you could have a bend at the knee. Or, no, actually, you can have a bend at the knee. Swivel here. Um, the legs can move spread apart. And his legs could go up and down. He, they could go 360, but again, with these pads. Um, his eyes super beady and small, but we'll get to that later when we look at details. Um, um, his tail can move, and it's very flexible tail, too. It's very stiff, but flexible. Um, you know, it's not bendy wire. It would be cool if it was, but honestly... Like, there's a lot of dry places, and if you if you live, like, in California, Arizona, I wouldn't want it, have it, like, a dry, like, a bendy wire tail, so I wouldn't recommend having one. But, yeah, so, anyways, let's get to detail. Um, so, yeah, starting at the chest here, it looks very cool. It looks very mechanical. It's like a, it's like a Transformers, Michael Bay Transformers toy. Very, very awesomely detailed I don't even awesomely is a, I don't even know if awesomely is a word but whatever it is to me um yeah and this can come off because this is like the original Jurassic Park figures uh, you see like that can come off like that and yeah so detail for the head he, his eyes are super beady, beady, beady and small but very uh very uh very intimidating, very intimidating. And I also like his spines, like a rubbery material. But I don't know, it's a children's toy, and I do prefer my Godzilla with a little bit more edge and a little bit more, uh, like I want it to actually hurt, but this is a child's $10 ch child's toy, so yeah. Sorry about that, yo, but yeah, this is like a child's toy for kids, or it could be, um, of course, I'm more of a collector. Like, I'll still play with it and whatnot, but I'm more of a collector nowadays. But yeah, very, very soft, very nice. Um, he has like little, like missile things here on the sides, and I think that's very cool. And actually, not to mention, another YouTuber men mentioned that, that these little holes here, they could be used for missiles, missiles. So yeah, I think that would be very cool. And yeah, so... And not for the legs, it's like he's very cool, very hefty figure. Um, a little bit heftier than what I was expecting. Nice detail, a lot of square things with X's. His feet look awesome. And yeah, his arms look great. Alright, so now time for comparisons. I'm probably going to need a wide shot. So yeah. So here is some size comparisons. Here he is next to Godzilla with Radio Tower. So you can figure that out. They're relatively the same size. It's just that Mechagodzilla is a bigger boy than the actual big boy. So yeah, you can figure that out. There's a better shot. And you can figure that out. Here, here he is with uh, Godzilla with Heat Ray. Figure that out. It's pretty much the same figure as him but you know they're in the same lineup so why not put him in yeah so you could figure that out here he is next to Kong with battle axe you could figure that out like of course you could figure that out 
He's a little bit more taller than Kong, but not that bad. Here he is next, next to who I, next to who I am, I am, I am assuming who's gonna be one of the main baddies of the film, the Skull Crawler. Of course, he's the real main baddie, but who knows? Maybe he's gonna be like a little baddie, bad guy here. But yeah, the two bad guys side by side. Could figure that out. So here he is next to a King of the Monsters track specific figure, Rodan. My first and only Rodan, which is my favorite Rodan. So yeah, figure that out. She could figure that out. Last but not least, here is Godzilla SH Monsters 2019 next to Mechagodzilla. I don't know, I don't like how this guy looks on camera. His paint looks faded. But yeah, you could figure that out. Well, good thing I'm supposed to be getting the 2021 version. So, it's not a complete loss. So overall, tell me what you think of this review in, in the comments down below. And, and also, and tell me if you're... It, Tell me if you're gonna get this figure, cause I think you should. I mean, like, I would recommend this to any Godzilla fan or just Kaiju fan. I don't know, it's just that good of a figure. So I know I just didn't, I didn't really express it, but you know, I'm kind of tired right now. It's like, it's 11:27 in the morning, so yeah. Um, yeah. So very nice, very awesome toys, very awesome figures, and yeah. And why, you know what, why not put Rodan in the image? So I just made it look like more of a scene with Skullcrawler going after Rodan and Godzilla, Kong, second Mecha Godzilla. And if you're wondering why I'm not using this guy or the Heat Ray version, I'm, I don't know, I just prefer this guy over those two. I don't know. I think it will look cool on my shelf. So yeah, tell me what you thought of this review in the comments below, and yeah, I'll see you later.